that baby girls. You want to try something else? We got some chicken. Yeah, it's a good girl. Looks like you drink quite a bit of water too. That's good. Hey, go babies. Hey, go. We got some nice chicken. Hey, go baby girls. Hey, go. Hey, go, sweetheart. Let's get you some chicken. Hey, go. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. That was good, baby girl. We'll get you chicken. We're going to get you some. That's a good girl. Here we go. We'll get you some fresh drink. That's a good baby. Here you go, sweetheart. Looks like you're doing really good. Yes, you are. There you go, mommy. Get you some fresh drink. Let's see if you get anything here in the box. Did you make any poopies in here? Oh, you made a pee pee. Okay, time to clean your bed. The good news is I'm not seeing any blood. So that's good. I could probably use some more of these pads. I can use some more of these blue pads. Because it seems like she wants to sleep here and wants to pee here. So I put this here so she has a nice dry spot to sleep in. And it's nice and padded. And it's a little cat house inside a house. So she's nice and protected. And as you can tell, she really trusts me. So, here we go. So I'm going to keep changing these pads so she won't keep laying inside her pee. She seems to be quite content with her. And I'll try to give you guys some bird eye view of her. There we go. Hey, they need to watch her eat. She looked a little groggy this morning. So I wanted to make sure she was okay. So, but yeah, she's, that's second plate. See my finger in the shadow? That second plate right there, that was from yesterday. That's a half a can. She just finished that here within, uh, I don't know, five minutes. So I gave her some fresh food up over there. You can see my hand, my finger on her back, pointing at that dish. That I just gave her, that's a full can. So I don't want to restrict any of her food. I want her to choose and decide how much to eat. Just like she was when she was outside. So, she looks to be doing well. Got my little, my little sidekick making some noise. He's like one of the best cats I ever had. Like my little mama kitty she she was with me for over 17 years she almost made it the 18th birthday there you go now she can see what she's eating and you guys can watch her and see how she's doing she does seem to be eating better and eating a lot more It is getting quite stuffy in here. So I'm going to turn the AC on for a little bit. But as you can tell, she's more interested in eating food. Her face has cleared up a lot. Um, her one eye does still seem to be hazy. I guess that could be from the sinuses and the drainage. Uh, being uh, 
dehydrated. The good news is that I'm seeing <clears throat> is she's taking not only a lot more trust in me, but if you look at her back, she is hang on near almost healed. So if she were to do some grooming, her hair will really improve a lot. So I'm not going to agitate her. I'm still trying to let her get used to me. So uh, she is peeing inside the litter. Then you can see it right over there. You can see she peed in the corner, but she put a real big spot over here inside her uh, carrier. Well, not carrier, but her little her little fortress. So she is getting used to me quite a bit. And she is drinking quite a bit of water. So this is awesome news. And as you can tell, she's eating a lot better. I mean, she's really tearing down some food. What she's used to is I got to eat up all the food that I can while I can because other cats are going to dive in and snatch it from her and we had a not such a friendly little guy that likes to hog style the food and was rough housing her he always wanted to smack on her and push her away from the plate so I feed him more up the hill so it's less chances he comes down here in the evening. I feel bad leaving her here in this cage, but I think it's doing her some good because she feels nice and secured. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do, because it doesn't seem like she wants to use the bathroom outside here on this black, but you can see where she got into the litter and the litter is kind of making a mess of the cage so before that becomes a problem when she's inside there I'm just going to take a little small broom and broom that out of there it's just loose litter from her paws walking out of there um, that's the only poop that I've seen that she had but that's the biggest one I've seen that she had uh, since she's been back here so the good news is she got that big blood clotter out of her. So that means she's passing her bowels and she's peeing. So um, the reason why she's got two plates in there is because she didn't finish that from yesterday. Hi, babies. Yeah, say hi to everybody. Yeah, I'm videoing you. Yeah, I've got the video going. Everybody wants to know how you doing, baby girls. Nobody's going to hurt you. So, this morning, she allowed me to pedal on her a little bit. I wasn't trying to overdo it because I know she's stressed. But just trying to give her some security that I'm not here to hurt her. So, it was only like about four or five times I gave her a little pet on the head and just to try to help build a bond and make sure that she was still breathing. She looked kind of rough this morning, but who doesn't look rough when they first wake up? Uh, she really didn't want to get moving today, so I didn't force her. But I didn't want her laying in pee with her incision. So I had to just pick up on the back of the bed and tilt it just a little bit to encourage her to come across here a little bit. And I put that food down in front of her for a while there she was hanging out on the top of here so um, you know I just took the pad laid it down and then put the bed back down and let her walk back in and then I put the box back over top of her so she can get herself comfortable but she does appear to be getting around pretty well 
She did seem to be in some pain this morning, but I think now that she's woken up, her natural painkiller is kicking in. And this is a pretty rough surgery, so it'll take her a while. So I think what I'm going to do is so she don't have to struggle. Hi, baby girl. I don't want her struggling trying to get over that. Two, both of those plates, which looks like that's what she's trying to do. So I'm going to pull that plate out of the way. I did the girls. It's okay. It's okay, mommies. I'm going to try to move, move this plate out of the way so she can walk through. It's okay. It's okay. I know her. So, just really wanted to show some updates, and uh, pretty amazing for being what appears to be absolute plural, but she seems to be doing pretty well. You okay, babies? She's going to climb up on the box. Getting a little nervous about her doing that. I think she might want to get back in the box. So I'm going to move her dish out of the way so she can get it. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. I'm going to talk to you. It's okay. You stay in there. It's okay. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Can you come back home? No, no. Good. Let me move your dish out of the way. Good. You want to get in your box? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. You go ahead and get in your bed. I'm going to tuck her back in the bed. There we go. Hey, Mom, there's a long way for you to lay down. Don't want to hurt you. Here we go. There you go. I'm going to make it real easy for you to get in bed. There you go. That's a good girl. So that's how I tuck her in. So she doesn't have to walk far. I just let her make her way and then put the box back on top of her and then she'll be nice and hidden until she's ready to come out so I'm going to let her have some peace and then I'm going to get busy with this video so you guys can watch it and I'm going to cover her up so she don't get cold It is getting hot in the rest of the house. Unfortunately, this is the only way that I can have her here for now because she's still hurt. And even though both of my males are fixed, they may be encouraged because there's a new female to do the Shasty McNasty. So I don't want to give it a chance. Though they really do very well with each other. That's him up here. That's my big boy. He's like the protector. He was really good with my mama cat. He grew up with her. He was just a tiny little baby and she was a grown woman. So that was like his uh, mother. And well, when she was sick with cancer, he had actually stopped her from falling off the bed. 
he got in right behind her and pushed into her because she started rapid sneezing and couldn't stop and got dizzy and then she went to fall over and he got right in behind her and pushed her right back you know into bed awesome little guy he's the only one that I can say get in the carrier and just tap on the carrier and tell him go ahead get in and he'll go right in it and so he's awesome I love that little guy ain't that right Mo he's a good boy no don't you jump on there <laughs> you jump on there you're going to scare mama let's come out of the bedroom come on Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and her uh, recovery. So, uh, there you go, I'll let you see the, see my little guy, there he is. He's a beautiful little guy. That's my little star of the show. He's a little buddy. I rescued him out of somebody's hot engine on a cold freezing day. They had him under the hood. <clears throat> drove for 45 minutes while he was in there that poor little thing so uh here's the best one of the best saves i had other than angel and that, that don't you jump on that cage Bird, you listen do not jump on that cage you'll scare her and she'll have a problem okay so come on let's come out of the bedroom all right guys hope you enjoy see y'all next time Thank you for helping.